much like right on a hill which is probably gonna screw me up but we here hunt today. It is <clears throat> pretty much the tail end of the extended hunting season here in PA. Uh, archery and flintlock. Or is it muzzleloader? One of those two. So those of us that are archery hunting are not required to wear orange. However, anyone who's wise will still wear at least a hat like I am because you still have firearms even though they're more uh, primitive firearms there's still firearms moseying around and I'd rather not have a you know, incident in the woods so but it just snowed the other day someone walks their dog back here pretty routinely I'm pretty sure but it just snowed the other day, which is why we're out. Because I want to find tracks and trails. It's your best chance of finding anything this late in the season. It's 38 degrees outside. Some people would say I'm dressed a little light for it. But uh, I run a little hot. So I'm sure I'll be toasty. Look right out of the gate. That's not domestic dog. I think that's a fox. And I can follow that trail back. It's another one. I wanted to come out and pretty much scout for trapping locations. Trapping extends into February and once the snow melts I'll be good to go. Right now all my traps are disabled just because I couldn't keep up with them. And there was massive flooding here a few days ago. Not days but a few weeks ago. I wouldn't have been able to access them so I deactivated them all.
hoof prints too. Big hoof prints. Let's see right there. Your tracks just disappear. I know. Still following these tracks. They head out that way. It's the only set I see, though. I do have a blind in the car. I'm actually kind of tempted to drag it up and set up for the day. It's not even 12 though. So I'll give it a little bit. See what walking around does, the original plan. If there's tons of tracks here, I was set up no doubt, but just the one. And I don't know if it's coming this morning, or if this is coming through here regularly. Probably not, because there's only one thing like half of it because you can see it cut but it's not a regular trail this is a deer trail and up there's the railroad tracks I want to say it's a buck just by the size of the tracks I'm not sure I have a tag for either so it don't matter too much to me we're on the railroad tracks. Let's see where he's going next. I hope it's not down this embankment. Probably is. Man, I need to take a break. So, got stopped by a warden. Totally fine. Everything's fine. Um, I was parked in front of the gate. For some reason, I always was under the impression that, because I see people parked in front of gates all the time, and never do I see them with any form of, like, you know, ticket or anything like that. And I see it all the time, the whole way growing up. For how many state parks and everything I visited, never once had anything come of those vehicles so i was always the impression that as long as you're not literally on the gate and blocking access to the gate as long as a large vehicle can go through and go through the gate you're fine that is apparently not true you're not allowed anywhere near the gate if there's like any kind of access area like where we were parked there is enough space for a vehicle to go around me does not matter so uh i you might have seen it on the video prior man dressed in all green mr green jeans as a lot of people call it he stopped me up on the tracks. We talked, I showed him my tags, everything's fine. No, they don't even have a sign up there saying don't park in front of the gate. So he even said, you know, that's their bad. Um, I actually know one of the wardens that uh, was there. I work with his son. So they're pleasant, all was fine. Um, they actually gave me a tip on where to find more deer tracks. So we're gonna head there now. Unfortunately, I was really close to the area. So I'm gonna have to walk all the way back up to the railroad tracks, but there's a bridge up there. And he said that there are tons of tracks over on that side right across the bridge so we're gonna go hit up that next but first i need to take a little bit of breather who know that uh wardens people who tromp around the woods for hours on day can walk really fast through the snow <laughs> holy god i'd never be able to make it as a warden i got a side stitch we're here we should check the game camera that i have set up on the side Four 
images and it was probably all me. And it's been up here for weeks. Hey. Big old hoof prints. Can't tell me that's a doe. There's still a big buck running around here. I'm so curious what he looks like. I've never been able to get a big buck on camera, but these hooves are huge. Like, there's one. There's a bruiser back here. Somewhere. I've only ever seen does and button bucks. That is so big. Look at that compared to my boot. I had snowshoes right now. So earlier I mentioned that it was all flooded. This was not like this before. So the river came all the way up to here and it's still high. Probably all the melt, but this is nice and shallow in the summertime. And then it gets deep right over there. And I like fishing here. But look at the, the leaves on the tree up halfway. All of these trees with all the branches. I guarantee this is from when we had all that flooding a little while ago. So, yeah, needless to say, all of my traps would have been underwater. And then they would have been technically illegal sets. I am so glad that I took them down the day prior. But we're almost to the bridge. Over there is more game land. The only way to get over there is A, swim across, B, walk across. And it's 30 degrees out, so that's not happening. Or you walk all the way up to the railroad tracks and cross the bridge over. And according to that warden, there is a ton of deer tracks over there. So I'm willing to bet not a lot of people walk back that way. And I'm willing to bet all the deer use that as a water crossing. Some small critter, probably a squirrel. Okay, I feel like I'm, I'm tripping. That is a deer track. Right? Look how fucking big that is! Like, is someone coming out here with a, a hoof stamp? That is as big as my hand. And I do not have small hands. Am I tripping or what? I need to catch this thing on camera. It is, it's gonna drive me insane. That's unreal. I've never seen a deer with that big of a hoof. So right over there, where the gas line continues, is where that warden said he's seen a ton of deer tracks. Oh, I'm out of breath, man. I'm gonna take a break soon. It's not that like bad of a walk. It's the snow that's really bringing me down. Also, I need to tighten my boots up. So, once we get to the bridge, we're going to stop and have a little treat. My boot is basically falling off.
snow really takes it out of you, but we're gonna head up and cross over there. I've never actually crossed the bridge. I know it's more game land over there, but I've just never gone that far. I've never felt a desire to. But we're gonna stop and have a lunch. I'm honest to God roasting. I might take my hoodie off. Water. I just brought fresh water with me. And the mess kit. There's my spoon. Not a big Guns N' Roses fan, but I didn't have time to pick a cool lighter. And I gotta figure out which pocket I have my knife in. Because honestly, I forget. Sorrels. I've had these for years. And I absolutely love them. They could use a good bit of mink oil, though. The leather is certain to lose its waterproofing. Maybe brush out the inside, too. Holy shit. I got this from the Army Surplus Store. $10 for this. $10 for the solid fuel. I've never actually used one of these before. That's just telling me not to eat it. I'm going to assume we need two of these. Before I light that, I'm going to get my water ready. Oh, it's going to be dirty now. You might be wondering what we're making today. It's gonna be fresh onion soup. Yes, I'm cheating in. I got some lips in, but we make it a little fancier. Um, I am going to saute the onions first. Not, yeah, saute the onions. Dirt never hurt anyone. You know, I thought about bringing a cutting board, and it's like, nah, we'll use the lid. Ooh, 
I'll have to close that a little bit. I'll do this. All right. Little do you know, this actually pays homage to what would have been my first video, but the camera corrupted all of the data. I was going to make a nice little intro video to the whole channel. I went to uh, the pretty much my childhood hiking grounds. It's another game land. It's along the Appalachian Trail here. And my dad used to take me there all the time. All the time. And it, you know, was our spot. It was it was right up the road of our house, my house growing up. I wonder, can I ignite this from the bottom? I'm afraid it's gonna like explode in flames. This one already. Man, they're still going. These rip. I've never actually used, like, like I said, I've never used one of these before. Honestly, I've never used any, like, easy to use cooking stuff. Like, I don't own one of those gas stoves. Which is why when I went to the army surplus store and I saw this, I'm like, oh, I should get one of those. Because it, I mean, you've seen how it unpacks. The, the box of fuel fits perfectly within the stove itself. And it's lightweight. Perfectly caramelized. So we're going to... Glaze the bottom. That's probably enough. Let that come to a boil. The river came up here too. This is all still wet yet. I washed up all of this. Oh, Jesus. There's some little birds in here. Let's see their footprints. Soft sediment. And none of this was here before. It used to go straight down in. I only ever caught fall fish out of here. I've never been able to catch anything else. There's gotta be trout in here. It's part of the Schuylkill River, the little Schuylkill, I believe. So there's gotta be 
you know, some trout. But I just think it's cool. The stalagmites. Or is that stalactite? I think mite is coming off the ceiling. The stalagmites coming off the top. I bet you there's bats up in there too. That would be fun. Big fan of bats. I don't know who set up this little fire pit. I've yet to... I rarely run into people. Like, I was baffled that I ran into a game warden. I didn't even know it was a game warden at first. This... Something. I think that's a squirrel. Lots and lots of little tracks. No, I was baffled when I, I didn't even know it was a warden at first. That's why I kind of, <laughs> the amount of times I capture myself eating it out here. So it burns kind of quick is what I'm learning. So we're going to have to add another brick on here. It takes a lot of energy to actually boil water. I don't know if it matters if it's upside down or not. I hope not. You're bubbling. Let's see. Oh, wait. Time for one of the main ingredients. The water is actually already brown, so that tells me that all the good onion juice is in there. Yes. It's gonna be good. had a chance to cool down I'm a little chilly. Oh, that smells so good. I'm gonna let that simmer with the lid off. Perfection. And then I do have croutons and the only cheese that I, I had at home was Parmesan. I would prefer this with the... Uh, oh, what is it? It starts with a G. Gouda. A good Gouda. Or even Swiss. If you, you know, Swiss is a little easier to find. But Gouda is the best. But I didn't have either of those. And I was not about to run to the store just to buy a single thing of cheese. <laughs> to use for this one meal. So I'm just going to use Parmesan. Hopefully that works. Hopefully it doesn't give it any kind of weird funky flavor. Sometimes cheese will make or break a meal. Alright. I'm gonna say that's that's good. food fit right in my little mess kit here. It was very convenient. So all you do, dump all that in and let it melt in. Melt in and sop it up. To be weird, but my foot is steaming. If that is not contestant of how warm Sorel boots are, 
My foot is literally steaming. I felt something in my boot, so I was going to try to get it out. Yeah, there's a branch in here. Right in the toe. As soon as I took it off, my foot was steaming. These are thin socks, too. They are not warm socks. They honestly are garbage. January? <laughs> get a good pair of boots. It's January 8th when I'm filming this, at least. I don't know when it's coming out. I'll probably edit it when I get home. I'm not going to stay out all night. I'm going to explore over here a little bit and then head back. It gets dark at 5. I kind of don't want to be walking around in the dark. Not that I'm afraid. Just, it's not preferable. And I'm pretty familiar with the trails at this point. Just, Micah gets a little skitzed out when I'm not packed by dark. Mm. No, something's definitely jumping around over there. Maybe a bird. I don't know. This is really good though. This is hitting. Like, <laughs> I love French onion soup. One day when I have a ton of time, I'll make from scratch out here. But I have to take wine and everything with me, which, yeah, a little sip of wine on the trail ain't too bad, but. To pre-measure everything and carry it out. Kind of a pain. But man, soup on a cold day like today? Like, it's perfect temperature for me. I just wish I wasn't so dang sniffly. This is my second year ever hunting. And, you know, it's not... The deer is not the end game. Any hunter will tell you that. Any of you that are new and watching this, you know, to see the greenhorn's perspective, um, any age or stage hunter will tell you it's not the killing of the animal that's worthwhile. It's going out and just enjoying this. I would never be doing this without, you know, a purpose. I wouldn't be looking at tracks quite. I mean, I would. I've always been doing that. But I wouldn't be analyzing it to the degree I am now if it wasn't for the pursuit of game. So, there's that. We need to do a lot more scouting this year. The, the season's ending. Like I said, it's the 8th. The season ends in Pennsylvania, I believe, on the 14th. And I work all the way up to the 14th. And I can't I can't go out on days that I work just due to the time. Um, so today's pretty much the last day to hunt. I'm not hitting it super hard. I'm more exploring than anything. And if I happen to cross a deer, that would be fantastic. But it's really, I'm not taking it nearly as seriously as I could, probably could be. Um, cause the chances are low. I'm mostly scouting. It, this is the first snowfall this winter and it's January, which is not good. El Nino done screwed up my winter. I love the snow and you can't really tell tracks and stuff without the snow down. So that's why I'm out today and it's paying off. There's signs of deer, the signs of nothing else. I should pull my traps. There's nothing else here. <laughs> I've seen a muskrat here once. I occasionally see squirrels, but there's nothing else. Um, besides that, you know, those small dog prints that I've seen, but that could be anything. It could be a fox, but I don't know. They didn't go very far and that was the only trail that I've seen besides deer. So I don't think it's worth it to trap out here. I'll have to find another spot. Um, but we need to scout more this year because we I no longer have access to the private lands we were on before. And I have plans for it. Um, I want to get some cellular cameras and that's going to be a whole series this coming summer and spring. We're going to be going out 
I'll be hunting this land, obviously. I mean, those tracks, I can't just ignore that. <laughs> There's no way I would ever be able to just ignore that. But I really want to do with your camp this summer. Well, next season. So there, you can't legally camp out on game lands in Pennsylvania. You can camp out on other public lands. So there's borough lands. And borough lands allows you to do mostly whatever you want on them within reason. Obviously, don't go do illegal things or things that, you know, you shouldn't be doing. But you're able to camp out and there is a location that I would like to, the day before rifle season, go hike way deep in. It's all uphill. You would never be able to walk to it in a morning and get in your spot in a reasonable amount of time. And if you did, you, you would be regretting it by the end of the day. Uh, it's a straight shot up with a lot of incline. But go up, scout, put up cellular cameras, see what's up there find a spot deep in there and then come the first day of rifle season I'm already up there in a tent with a stand and we are ready to rumble maybe I'll have a friend or two with me some of my friends are finally picking up hunting hunting's a lot more fun with other people joining you unfortunately there's no way my stepdad would ever be able to get up there but um I'm hoping to include him in other things I don't think he'd be a big fan of filming but um, I might have some content of days that, you know, we go out. I may or may not visit Lake Ontario this year, so there's going to be more fishing content. I have a kayak land lined up next month. I'm getting myself a birthday gift this year. I'm going to be a kayak. I have a canoe. It's a little much to carry around. I love the paddleboard, but... It's got its place, the paddleboard. So we'll be getting a kayak, more fishing content, more hunting content. Trapping content's gonna end next month. But there will be more content in that over the year because I'll be building wood constructs to add to it, more prepping. Camping, we're doing camping this year. Dogs coming with, hiking, 2024, we're hitting it hard. You know, this channel's grown a little bit. All things considered, the the amount of videos we have posted to the amount of subscribers um, is very reasonable in my opinion, especially considering the quality of content. I am not upset at all over what strives we've made, you know. So, you know, it, we have 22 su subscribers right now, which is not a lot by any means, but if I was sitting in a room and 22 people were genuinely interested in what I was doing, I, I would be overwhelmed. Like, that would be overwhelming and also really cool. So. More art content, vlog style content. We're going to be going to the Harrisburg Outdoor Show. I'm going to film that and hopefully not get antsy. I get really stressed out when I film other people because I don't want them getting upset and I don't like confrontation. So I go out in the woods. But I'd really like to showcase, you know, the outdoor expo that's over in Harrisburg. I'm only a hop skipping away. I go there every year. Um, there's going to be a Trapper's Rendezvous in April. We'll be recording that. I want to say it's District 11. I'll be vending there. Record that, see how it goes. And then we have turkey season coming up in April, too. No. May. They moved it to May this year. It used to be April 29th. Last year it was April 29th. Uh, this year it's May 7th. No, May 4th. But I have a wedding the opening day. So we'll be going out May 7th. So that's my little spiel. I'm gonna finish up my soup. We're gonna pack up. And then we're going to finally get across this gosh darn bridge. All right. We're all cleaned up. Aside from a few onion skins, but it's a little ridiculous if you ask me if you're pulling those too. I love hiking in the snow. 
Wish it didn't hurt my hips as much, but it's just like an alien world out here. <sighs> Onwards and upwards. You know, the warden asked me what the channel's name was because he saw my GoPro on the chest. And he's like, oh, do you do YouTube videos? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, what's the channel name? And I told him. I wonder if he's going to check it out. Make sure I'm not doing anything illegal. But he's got my hunter's ID number now. And he took pictures of my tags. Ugh. See what he means. They were out investigating, actually, an ATV out here, which is not allowed. Uh, Pennsylvania, most of them, actually all game lands pretty much, there's no ATV trails, no legal ones at least. And apparently someone, there was a report of someone coming through with an ATV and coming out with a deer which is a big no-no. Uh, it's hard to even... The only stipulation that makes that legal is if you're a disabled hunter. Which, allegedly, is very, very hard to get a license that allows that. Man. Hoover's coming out with their dog, really. He's all over the place. And there's the pipeline trail. Let's see. So it looks like I can get down somewhere here and just pull up that way. I just don't know where. It's going to be kind of hard getting back up. Maybe. But yeah, probably the... He was walking down these tracks. This is where we met. So he probably walked right along the ATV trail that's there. Because he was asking me if I was out Saturday or Sunday. And if I seen anything, which... I was at the farm show on Sunday, and Saturday I was at work, which is when this blizzard happened. So, I was nowhere near here, and I very rarely ever see people here. Oh, there is a trail. That's where that ATV went. Now I'm curious. Probably the wardens. Oops. Now this is timber back here. And he was right. There is deer tracks everywhere. I've been in the wrong spot this whole time. all one of his vehicles. They are all back here. Oh my god. I'm 
shout out to that warden. I mean, I was planning to coming back here anyway, but... Got a set of cameras back here. This is recent. That's probably during the snowfall. explore. There's crows going absolutely nuts over there. They all just suddenly erupted in noise. Let's see if I can cut through there.
tree line opens over there. I wonder if there's a bird of prey maybe hackling them. What was that? Something just came off a perch. It was huge, whatever it was. It's probably what the crows were yelling about. This is a bed. I don't like mushrooms too. I can see why he beds here. There's fresh droppings. Obviously that's used. But from right here, you can see all directions. I'm gonna mark this. And this is a sign that has occurred within the last 72 hours. And another, they're bedding right here. And then they probably come right up that hill. They might jump through there. Through there. It's nice and clear over there. Definitely some good trees to hang. Stands up in. Animation now. But I don't see why they would change bedding areas. This is primo. I see exactly why they'd be up here. There's no way to get a jump on them. 
there's no way a coyote is going to head in any direction and them not know. They're smart. They're smart animals, that's for sure. There's thorns too. They go right between these trees. See you guys back at the car. Could you tell that it's hunting season and trapping season and every other season? <laughs> God, my car's a mess. I don't have a backseat anymore. <sighs> Alright, we're back to the car. Ooh, I really ate up some battery. Initially, I planned for this to be maybe a 30 minute video. I'm sure it's going to be over an hour at this point just because of all the content we got. <sighs> I'd say successful day. Honest to God, successful day. You know, like I was saying during the uh, our lunch there. It's not about, you know, coming home with a trophy. It's about enjoying, you know, being out. And also, I, I didn't expect to get anything today. Like I mentioned, it's, you know, your chances are very low and I was not prepared for an all day sit, especially walking and, you know, archery. It, the brush is so thick that it's not, you know, advantageous at all. You'd be very lucky if you were in a good spot to begin with and had a clear shot on a deer. That stuff only happens, you know, on those big hunting shows, <laughs> you know. So I'd say still a successful day. I had a good time. I am drenched. My feet are disgustingly drenched. It feels like I just walked through the creek. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe my boots are leaking a little bit. I don't know, um, but I do know they need to be cleaned after today. <laughs> uh, all the mud that went in them. But I'm going to head home, and yeah, we'll see you out in the field next time.